Well, a wedding is a union of two people pledging to spend their lives together, but let's face it, all eyes are on the bride. Looking picture perfect can take weeks or even months of work, and some brides are taking extreme measures to look their best. One of the newest stops for bridal beauty is the plastic surgeon's office. Julie Jacobson is a blushing bride who planned everything to perfection. The perfect dress, the perfect veil, the perfect venue, and of course, the perfect groom. She also planned how she would get her picture-perfect look. It's ironic that sometimes, sometimes this, the most stressed you ever are is also the same day that you have to look your best. On the big day, she had her hair and makeup done professionally. Before that, highlights, manicure, pedicure, teeth whitening, self-tanner, and a few trips to the office of a plastic Good. surgeon. So when uh, my wedding was approaching and I really wanted to make my skin look as good as it could, I did a little bit of research. She underwent a series of microderm abrasion treatments at the hands of an esthetician. We're ready for microderm. Bring it on. After deep cleansing, vacuum suction empties impurities out of the pores, and tiny crystals gently buff and polish the skin. Immediately, when I leave the office, my skin looks better. Julie's microdermabrasion is basically an amped up facial, but other brides are going further. Michelle DePinto looks back at her wedding album and remembers her pre wedding preparations. As you plan for your big day, you want everything to be as perfect as it can be, and you want to look your best. and being that, you know, I was getting married and here I was in my mid-30s, I thought, well, you know. She got Botox injections before walking down the aisle. I had the injections in my forehead and then I had the injections around my eyes where these little, like, little lines are starting. Botox is the most popular treatment for pre-brides, absolutely. Facial plastic surgeon Dr. Stephen Diane treated Michelle and plenty of other brides with Botox. The company even runs ads promoting it as a pre-wedding must-do. They want to look their best and getting doing whatever they can for their face to make it look good is part of the package. That can include more serious surgeries. Future brides are asking for nose jobs as well as liposuction and tummy tucks. We are seeing people really sort of go to extremes as far as looking their very best. Debbie Lilly orchestrates weddings for the event planning oh, service, a perfect event. Yes, She's right seen or heard it all. Everything from gifts for the bridal party that are all individual Botox gift certificates and or fun little sort of surprises for their wedding evening or the honeymoon where they've had a little tummy tuck or a little lift. Dr. Diane recommends quicker fixes, Botox of course, as well as Restylane and Hyloform which can fill out wrinkles and plump up a bride's pout as well as microdermabrasion. Whether you're the bride or the family of the bride, I highly recommend that you give yourself some time, probably at least two weeks, maybe more like six weeks, before the wedding that you do these procedures. There's all these wedding magazines, there's all these wedding shows on TV, so the focus that people are putting on weddings is bigger than ever before, and why not put more of a focus on yourself as a bride? Michelle did, and she loved the results. I was happy. I, you know, I, f I felt beautiful, I felt that I looked the way that I wanted to look. I don't know, why shouldn't we? As women, as men even, why, why shouldn't we want to look as good as we can? Now for brides who really do want an extreme makeover for their wedding, Dr. Diane says to have surgery at least six months before the wedding so that as the big day approaches, the bride is more worried about her wedding than her recovery. You know, if you're going to do really extreme things, you should probably do them in advance also so people recognize you. Do it before you even get engaged, <laughs> you <know>? okay? <laughs> before you even meet your man. Okay. And Are you saying nobody noticed my black tux that look like everybody else's black tux? I mean, nobody looks at the guy? Yeah. All eyes are on the bride. Didn't your wife tell you that? Yeah, well, she's been telling me that for about 13 years. Yeah. <laughs> Still true. That's right. We could see some big weather changes in the middle of the week. Rick DeMaio, next up on the forecast. Also